So anyways, let's look at this next restriction. Again, let's forget about the restriction for a second. Let's just go back to what we have. Place that with the y. x equals y squared plus 3. Okay? Now we go ahead and solve. Subtract 3. Subtract 3. x minus 3 equals y squared. Now we got to take the square root. Square root. Square root. Now remember, guys, when you introduce the square root, you have to use, because on your test, you have to use plus or minus. So y equals plus or minus the square root of x minus 3. However, my restriction says x has to be greater than 0, greater than or equal to 0. So should I include plus and minus, or should I just include the positive? Just include the positive. OK? So now we take f inverse. It's just going to equal the positive form of x minus 3. The reason, again, why we're only using the positive version is because we have original restriction where x has to be greater than equal to 0. <coughs> Again, it might not make sense, so let me kind of go over to the next um, portion of this to kind of wrap everything together. Okay, so for the sake of